She's got more than 10 billion global streams. Four UK number one singles has held the record for the most top 10 singles for a British female artist in the history of the United Kingdom. Did you know that? That's Well, now. Wow. Now she's joining the American version of The Masked Singer for its newest season. Take a look. Based off the voice, it makes me think of Hilary Duff, Lucy Hale. But Goldfish is so dramatic and theatrical. The gold record is for Glee's album that is certified gold. This might be Leah Michelle. Wow. Really? That would be amazing. I love that guess. I love it. I love her. <laughs> it's really? a lot. The They're, show is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. Okay, first of all, yes. before we dive into your life, which I'm so excited about, we have you, you mentioned at the top of the show that you just chopped your hair off because you had a crazy, wild feeling that you were just ready to cut. Yeah, jet lag does that too. Jet you guys. lag does it. Okay. So I want to see your before haircut oh. picture. Oh yeah, that was yeah. Okay. Can we change the background so we can really see Rita's hair? Because I feel like it's hard to see your hair right now. Let me give you a... But if you could go a little lighter on the background, this would be good. They're going to try... Look at this hair. I just cut it all off. How did you... So this morning, that was just a thing? What happened? Yeah, well, I woke up thinking I was going to just have an interview with you. Yeah. And now I am here on the show <laughs> with you and talking about all things Mars Singer and life. And I just wanted a fresh start. And I think in 2024, Dimitri, who uh, does my hair with me, yeah. he was like, let's just chop it off. And then we put some color in it. It, and now we're here. Wait, all this happened. Look yes, at this hair. In two hours. Look what you <laughs> are doing. I just they say that a girl who changes her hair is gonna change her life. Really? Do you know that statement? Yes. It's I, a very famous statement. I mean, I really Do felt you, that this morning. I, I feel like you have a long runway in your life. Oh. I feel like so many things so are going to happen in your life. <sighs> Do you think that twenty twenty four might be the year that things happen and well, change? Well I hope so. You know, I think um, I love working. I love people. I love connecting. I love music. Um, I think there's a moment in time in life, I think, when you have had enough experience to know what to prioritize. And I think now, you know, I, I think when I turned 30, things started to become real. You feel it. Yeah. And then I felt like, okay, Rita, what are we doing? You what know? are we doing? And what are we doing? And what are we doing is we getting married. I'm here <laughs> on the Today Show with you, talking <laughs> Mars Singer, talking new music. And um, we're just going to keep going. You know, this Denzel Washington quote is, you get down down eight, you get up nine, and you just keep going. And then he ends it with, I'll see you at work. I'll see you at work. And that's what we're doing. You are a worker, and I think you learned that from your parents. I yes. mean, your parents came here, came to the UK yes. as immigrants, refugees from mm -hmm. Albania. You mm -hmm. were one, one years yes. year old. So what did they teach you? What did you learn from them by watching them? Well, they had to adapt. You yeah. know, it's all about, I think, understanding your environment. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you know, they were very good to us, keeping it all out of our sphere. Mm -hmm. And then we sort of became really d independent, you know, in a weird way, because mm. we had to kind of find our own friend group and, you know, we're not from there. You know, my parents were learning the language and mm -hmm. we realized that, okay, this is it. This is a great new opportunity. And I'm just really grateful we did move because yeah. I became you know, a musician. I had the opportunities mm. to make music and learn about being a woman in this mm. crazy world. And I'm really, really happy they took that risk. So I'm very grateful. And that, where does your work ethic come from? I think that. that I think the, the idea of just landing on your feet, you mm. know, um, I've seen it so many times and my mother is a breast cancer survivor. Mm. And it was a real hard time for us to understand where we exist and I just knew I had to support how I I didn't know that the answers you know when you're a kid you're like how can I help but you just have to be there well the other person who was there with you is your sister yes who was in studio just hanging out I know <laughs> you're like first of all you looked over Wait, and hold on a minute she's on TV <laughs> Wait, what is happening is today real because I just don't know what's even happening today hi what is, what's going on over there I know, I've just been thrown onto the TV, so here I am, trying to look cute, you know, never know who's watching, and you guys are doing great. Oh, thank you, sis. She's been with me from the beginning. Is that, does she go along with you on your it's appearances, a yes. your outings and everything? It's a family affair. Yeah, we try and keep it a really close, tight team. She's been with me since the beginning, and now that's a good thing, because she still tells me off every day. She's two years older than me, and she definitely reminds me of that. Well, I feel like there's a lot of talk show in you, and I'm going to say that because I've only sat with you for the first time. You joined this chat five minutes before we went on the air, 
and everything's been clicking. So I'm just going to put it in the universe because I believe if you say things, yes, you speak them into existence and into reality. Oh my God, are we doing? And this? is this something that you you enjoy doing? I love love doing this. You've been a big big inspiration for oh. me, and oh. also I think being able to tell a story, being calm, being collective, making other people feel comfortable, and I, mm. I just love people. I love laughing. Maybe I talk a bit too much. No, you do not. You know, you do not. But let's do it. Manifest. Oh, it's, we're manifesting. That's our thing. That's what we do here. Uh, la, 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 la. <laughs> let's, let's talk mass singer. Speaking yes. of what? Okay, you joined this show, mm -hmm. which is totally crazy yes. and wacky. But what oh, was it about it that captivated you? And tell me what you took away from it. So this show is huge, as we know. And um, I was doing the show in the UK. I'm, yeah. I, I'm a panelist in the UK. And they said, why don't you come over here and do it? And it was just a whole other level. You know, the yeah. panelist, you know, you got Robin, we've got Jenny, yeah. we've got Ken. And they have such a good good sort of chemistry and I was like oh my goodness I hope they like me and not only did they like me I feel like we couldn't get enough of each other oh. we had such a good time the talent is crazy I can't believe and did you guess right I think I did. Yeah. I'm pretty good. I'm like yeah. that friend you take out, and in the UK you go to like a pub night, yeah. and you do like a quiz. Oh, and you're I, that one. I'm that one. You mm -hmm. know, you guess them all right, and <laughs> I think I do this thing. I listen, but Robin's also a musician, you know. Yeah. So we have the we close our eyes, and I look at the body, and I look at the sort of the mannerisms, and I'd like to say I'm not going to put it out there, but I think I may have got it. You may have got it right. I think you might have. Can I just ask about your cool tattoos? Are yes. They, do they all signify something? Are they? Oh gosh, my mother's gonna hate oh, this why? conversation. She does not like your tattoos. No, maybe let's just hide them. <laughs> uh, it was. It's crazy. It's all about life and memories. Good. And I started in music, and I guess I think after a show or you know with a band or when something really significant happens. Right. Yeah, I've been a big tattoo sort of fan for years. Good. I think you either love it or you don't. You don't. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like Marmite. <laughs> Marmite. Do you guys have Marmite? Here? I've tried it. I can't bear it. You love I know. It? I hate it so oh, much. Oh, I'll try it. Look at it. Go to your grocery store and look for Marmite and tell me if you like it. Season 11 of The Mass Singer premieres Wednesday, March 6th on Fox. And Rita, we've got a cooking segment. Oh, my God. We're going to be baking. This is the best day ever. Ever.